Hey everyone, Silcat2 here. Welcome back for more Mega Man Battle Network 2. Do you know where I am? Anyway. In the last episode, we got the double S license, but before we get the triple S license, there are a couple things I want to do, I think. <coughs> eh, I'm not really sure, actually. My friend showed me his folder, and he had a funky chip. It was called the Fighter Sword, or something like that. He wouldn't tell me what he got. Anyone know? Everyone doing their best? It's the Net Battler Famous. Mysterious Chip. Hmm, what could it be? I want to tell you, but it would be better to guess. The world of battle chips is one you must study. Famous is always looking forward to your challenge. See you at the center. Fighter Sword is one of ten secret chips that can only be got by fighting somebody else over multiplayer mode. You both need to have at least three stars on your profile. <coughs> And it helps that one of you, I, well, it's kind of hard to explain, but the idea for getting rare chips is to make and break trends. Like, <coughs> suppose you have this match where player two knocks out player one in a matter of seconds using a program advance, and he does this for five or six battles. When player 2 turns the tables by knocking player 1 out with a program advance, he is virtually guaranteed to get a rare or secret chip. Okay? That's kind of how it works. I couldn't wait any longer, so I went to Natopia just to try out the Chip Trader Special. And then you know what I found out? They have them all over Electopia now, too. Arrgh! I tried a Chip Trader Special in Electopia, but I think the chips you can get are a little different from the Natopia ones. You'll have to try both Chip Trader Specials out to see the different patterns. Sometimes you'll run into someone in the street who wants to trade battle chips. The boy in a plane asks for a doozy. Yeah, he asks for one that there's no way I'm gonna have. Yeah, I've been asked for battle chips. And one boy at the 10 airport even asked me a quiz. What if you know every answer? Everyone may know this already, but there's big trouble in Kotobuki at the moment. Looks like everyone is taking cover. Kid in my class is still in Kotobuki, apparently. I'm so worried. <coughs> hey, everybody. So which virus is the strongest anyway? Let me know which virus everybody thinks is strongest. the strongest virus pole. Sounds fun. I think it's the Dominard. Nothing is worse than its bite. The strongest virus is Shadow, no doubt. A sneaking Shadow is creepy and only swords beat it? Spiky 3, I mean, look at that hideous virus face. What do you think, kiddo? You know so many viruses. Tell us which one is the strongest, kiddo. Kiddo here. Strongest virus, eh? As far as I know, and I've never seen it myself, that would be the life virus, which has its perfect aura. Was the life virus that virus in the World 3 exit incident? Wow, Center sure is tough to delete that virus. Actually, it wasn't the Center guy who deleted the life virus. It was an ordinary kid living in Den City. Amazing! Yeah, the life virus is definitely the strongest virus. I've never seen one, but this is the winner of the poll. The life virus is deleted, but that doesn't mean it's extinct. One of these days, it'll return to terrorize the net. Hey, this post on the mine, is it a prank? If it's, it is, it's too creepy for a joke, so cut it out. Yeah, no kidding. I just mailed the admin and asked them to delete that post, so it'll probably be deleted right away. Maybe this is a prediction that the World 3 will come back? Mm, well, I think it's a prank anyway, but it's still freaking out. Hey, it's not deleted. From the admin, to everyone who uses the sentence force. Regarding a post you asked that I delete, for some reason my delete command is rejected. We all know why yet. I apologize for any inconvenience. Doesn't the center run this board? Can't delete it? It's protected by fancy programming? That is unsettling news. Let's drop the subject. Oops, virus just infiltrated my system. I have a little virus busting to do. See ya. Get out here. Virus busting has to take priority. Make sure you're always ready to bust viruses. Anywhere, anytime. That includes me. Good luck, all. Okay, I'm back. Just had to answer a question in chat. Speaking of chat... Well, it looks like the earthquake has finally ended. I was so terrified, it took me forever to get to sleep. I'll try on a little secret. Electopia's environment is protected by a special system against quakes, etc. So, why was there a quake? What was it, a net crime? I heard it was all gospel's dirty work. Maybe the reason the quake ended was they defeated those gospel jerks. Looks like the Lost Navvies went home to their operators. Was Gospel really destroyed? I don't know if they are in Gospel or not, but I see bad Navvies. I feel strange EM waves from Kotobuki. What's going on? 
I work part-time at a convenience store in Kotobuki, but I haven't been able to reach work since before yesterday. What's happening? Our relatives from Kotobuki are taking refuge with us. For some reason, the town is falling apart. I can see it from outside my window. The sky over Kotobuki is painted an unnatural color. There's some weird flickering lights. Doesn't look good. Hmm. Whoops. Uh, <laughs> I hit the stop recording button instead of the pause recording. What's wrong with me? Um... Let's see here. What else did I want to do? I wanted to do... Oh, you know what? I, just, I was just reminded of something we can do over in the mother computer room. Blast it! They found me! Haha! <laughs> Final power-up. We are now level 96. Hey, Sonny. Looks like you got a lot of chips there. You got a big bomb asterisk chip. You do you mind giving it to me? I'm a scientist, now working on advances. I just started developing a new advance. I gotta have big bomb asterisk to activate the advance. Please give me big bomb asterisk. I'll reward you. Can't you find it? <clears throat> well, there is a place where we can get that, but it's at the end of a long trading sequence, and we don't have the right chips for it. So we're going to hold off on that. Hmm. Can't think of anything else I want to do at the moment. I don't have poison mass gas. Alright. Guess we're just heading back to ACDC. <coughs> to go do stuff. <coughs> just looking around for people who might want to trade chips. Dash attack J. Yes! Spreader asterisk. I have the feeling we're going to be using that in a trading sequence, so let's hold on to it. Anyway, what we want to do now that we have a double S license is head back into the Undernet. Because there are some spots in Undernet 6 and 7 and the World 3 area, I believe, where we can do stuff. So yeah. See you guys there. Okay, here we are in Undernet 7. This is the first security cube that requires our attention. But we need a triple S license to go to any further. How stupid is that? <clears throat> As always, we want to watch out for Freeze Man, but... Ooh, Megalian E. That is awesome. It is Megalian E is the strongest form of the Megalian virus. Its R is electric elemental, which means it can be taken out with a wood attack, but since we have Gator, we might as well use that, you know? Cannonball P. Cannonball P. This again. The chip for bubble spread. And I believe there's stuff to do over triple S license for that cube. Um, hmm. That appears to be as far as we can get, actually. Strange. Alright, let's see if we can get the uh, Elect RE chip from these guys. Apparently not.
try that again. Yeah, that was definitely not worth a chip. <laughs> Fail. <coughs> um, okay. Now we are going back into World 3 area. Okay, here we are. I kind of had a bad encounter with Shadow Man 3 on the way here, though, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> but I'm alright now, so... <coughs> we got more viruses to deal with. Yeah, you remember that zap effect? It is back. HP max, awesome. I saved myself a jack out. <laughs> uh, let's see. Here we go. That should be the trick. Mega Man showed his double S license. Bug frag. Down that way, there's a dead end that will let you fight Fair Man 2, but we're not going to do that just yet. There are other things I want to take care of. Yeah, doesn't look like we can get away from these viruses. Definitely want to stay away from that scutzer. Okay, now we got away. Of the many navvies, this door only opens for the strong. The door will not open. What we need is a version 3 chip from every navvy in the game. Yeah. <clears throat> That is probably going to be the next thing we will do in this Let's Play. But before we do that, there are some things I want to get. Do you recall that net dealer up there? The one with all the Battle Network 1 chips? We are going to be buying stuff from him. Trident, Tornado, Mine, Front Sensor, Double Sensor, Bubble Wrap, Godstone. There. We now have a whole bunch of chips at our disposal. 170 out of 250. That being said, it seems we are still missing two of the keys, and I have absolutely no clue where they are. Hello, it man. Uh, look who it is! It's Number Man! He's selling a lot of chips that we can't get anywhere else. But I don't have enough Zenny for the ones I want. 
Oh well. That's where he is if you guys want to talk to him. I think I'm going to go look up locations of all of the version 2 and 3 navvies so we can take them all out one by one and get their chips. Okay? I'll be seeing you guys once I have done that.